Okay then, so this is system test 24. I know it's been quite a while, I'm sorry about that, but I've been really busy and tired because of work and everything and I've had other things that I've needed to sort out. So I just really haven't had the time or the energy to do it. But it's here now, I've uh, finally got round to sort of doing something to it that I've been wanting to do for a while. Uh, so part of the system is temporary just for this video and it will get sorted out at a later date. Probably for System Test 25, which before any of you start asking, isn't going to be around for a good couple of months. So, just wanted to get that out of the way first. So anyway, there's been a couple of changes to the system. We've got one, one device swap, one devi two devices added, I think that sounds about right. So anyway, we're gonna kick start the test in my room, uh, like normal. We've still got the S quad there, and that's disconnected. Uh, I think it's been like that for a few tests now, but I keep forgetting to take it down. So that S quad's still active, and we've still got the three four eight hundred in here, which is the core point. And we've still got the brilliant uh, short wires to silence alarms feature. So I'm just going to sound this one, not for very long. I'm going to silence it straight afterwards because I'm going to uh, show you something. So here we go. So there we go, that was that one. Uh, oh, what's that buzzing? That, that beep that's just stopped for some reason. It shouldn't have stopped, but it has. I don't know why. Um, so this. This is repeat indicator panel, which basically just repeats all the indications on the main panel, so like the main panel currently says alarm silence, so this says alarm silence, and it shows that it's in fire, and it shows all the different faults that it's in, disablement, because the conventional sound is uh, are all disconnected, and I haven't put resistors in them yet, so I've just disabled it, sound default, um, because there's no resistors in and a power fault because there isn't a battery. So uh, yeah, this is temporary as you can see because basically what I've done is I've got the conventional sounder circuit for the house, pulled two of the wires out and used them as the power for the indicator. And I've used this bit of bell wire which is the old sounder circuit from the conventional system. And I'm using that as the data wire for that. So we're just going to re-alarm using this, and you you may have already heard one of the device swaps, but if you haven't, I'll show you it now. We'll see this stay call point operated. It's another change. Uh, really didn't want to do that. Because I don't think it's going to rearm now. No, oh, no. Need to rearm the panel. Can't do it in here. Right. So, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to go reset the panel, come back in, and rearm it again. Cancelled. While I'm here, I'll activate this core point using the test key. These covers are really difficult to get up on these core points. 
I'm not sure if it's just the way I'm doing it or what, but they seem really difficult to get up. I always struggle. I'll test this core point. on me yes I have this call point in here as well while I'm here might as well did this a while ago so I'm just going to do it now that should do it and now I'm going to leave it on silence because there is a new device, which I meant to show earlier, I forgot, so I'm going to show it now. There is one more new device. Just clear that screen. And I'm going to be quick about this, so I'm just going to pop it into alarm and show you. So that was that, that was, uh, I, sh I think I've shown you, yeah that was everything. So this has changed, this is a voice S-Quad with strobe and speech and stuff as you probably guessed. This S-Quad in here, this S-Quad is uh, a heat, own heat sounder S-Quad and as you can see the LED pulses which is cool. And that's just a sounder only. It's heat only as well because this is a bathroom. And the wires go behind the light, which you might be able to see there. Which is handy. So yeah, that's it. That is uh, the system so far. It will be getting a few more alterations at some point for test 25, but like I said, I've got no plans to start doing anything to the system for 25 just yet. So, don't bother asking me like in a couple of months, or oh, where is it? Because I won't be able to give you an answer. Because um, I don't know, I, I genuinely don't know when I'm going to be able to do anything on the system to improve it any more than it currently is other than connect the other end of the loop up because at the moment there's only one end of the loop connected the other end is just bare in the panel also in the next video I'll also show the inside of the panel because it um, the only reason I'm not showing it now is because this repeat because that's temporary the inside of the panel is a bit of a mess to make way for all the uh, dodgy wiring that I've had to do to get it to work so anyway, uh, you can rate, comment, uh, subscribe if you want. You don't have to. I'm not going to force you to. Uh, I think that's it. I can't think of anything else that I've missed, although I probably have. So 
yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Like, like I said, if you've got any requests, drop me an inbox or leave it in the comments below. And if I've got time to get round to doing it, I'll do it. Otherwise, uh, I won't do it and I'll let you know that I can't do it. So, thanks for watching. Bye. Um, yeah, that's it.